algebra problem today. This is called an inequality. We're going to take the problem 4x is less than 12. So we got to figure out what x is. 4 is going to multiply times a certain number x and that's going to come out less than 12. And the way we figure that out is we're going to divide both sides, the 4 and the 12, by 4. Okay? So if we take 4, we have 4 strokes, like the single stroke 4 we talked about. Now, we have to divide 4 by 4. So we have to figure out how many times, how many sets of 4 go into 4. Simple enough, it's just 1. One set of 4. So, we have 1x on that side. Now we go to the other side, and we got to divide 12 by 4. So we have to figure out how many of these 4's go into 12. Okay? So it's going to be how many sets of 4, those single stroke 4's, go into 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Three sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You heard three sets of four. So now we have our answer over on this side. 12 divided by four is three. Okay? On this side we have four divided by four is one because it just took one set of four to go into four. Now, really the one X is less than three. And we can just call that X x is less than 3. So, it makes sense when we look at it. Okay, our original problem, 4x is less than 3. So if we multiply 4 times 3, that does equal 12, which is not less than 12. So we know that x has to be less than 3. This way, 4 times the number less than 3 is going to be less than 12. Therefore, our inequality is now a true statement. Okay, we'll go over some more inequalities and more algebra another time. If you have any questions, just email me, dan at dannybritt.com. See you next time.